shadowy night, the ghosts come out to play. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Stu, but that was actually terrible. Oh, what? That was my best one. <laughs> it really was. <laughs> right, who's next? Oh, Tom. Oh, um, ah, right, this is a good one. It was a dark and stormy night at the manor, and all was calm. What? A calm storm? You, you, really, you really want me to believe that? It doesn't matter. Right, now, now where was I? Ah, the Lord of the Manor, Sir Peter Scott, sat by the grand fireplace reading his favourite novel. He'd always admired Katie Price for her work. Her style, her beauty, the way she always gets that perfect shot. Oh, Katie. Tom! Oh, uh, so sorry. Good. No, 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 get on with it. The clock struck midnight with twelve booming chimes. The man thought nothing of it and continued to read until he counted more. Thirteen, fourteen, fifty. He became panicked. Eighteen, nineteen, twenty. The beats getting louder and louder with each chime. 22, 23, 24. He felt a shiver race down his spine, throwing him out of the seat and into the arms of the... Who's for cookies and milk? Ah! Night troll! Um, Stuart, that's my mum. Oh. Uh, sorry, Mrs Jenkins. Just, Tom was telling this scary story. Um, well, we, we thought you were a monster. <laughs> Don't be silly. <laughs> and what did I say about scary stories? You don't want to have nightmares, do you? <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>